Hey, my name is James Lott, coming at you with another take of what I feel is valuable to you guys. Let me start off by saying thank you for um, checking me out. I love the fact that we get to interact. Um, today I'm going to talk about confidence. So a lot of people come across to me or tell me how they don't do a lot of things and they don't, they, they embarrass about certain things and they, you know, they, they got a little voice and things like that. So let me, let me say this for one. If you struggle with lack of confidence, the first thing to do is your parent, your body. So when you talk to people, talk with your chest up, keep your chin up. Even if you know you're feeling bad inside, this helps you get rid of some of that badness and turn it into goodness. So let's start with chest up, chin up. Let's go to voice tones. Always speak up. Make sure the people you're talking to can hear you. If you can barely hear yourself, then they won't be able to hear you. This helps build that confidence. So people have low self-esteem and they have low confidence and they don't quite know how to fix it because maybe a lot of things went wrong in their life. So this is just one of the few ways that you can start fixing your confidence. Um, another thing, you just want to do the thing that you want to do. What I mean by that, I mean, if you like a girl in school or you like a guy or whatever, just go and ask the person out. If you want to do an event that you never tried before, just go do it. If you want to sign up for dance class, if you want to go out with your friends to a club and you never got on the dance floor, just go on the dance floor. Why do I say this? It's not about the outcome. The fact that you did something you've never done is going to help your confidence. So if you ask the pretty girl out or you try to get, go to the prom or, or whatever school dance and you get rejected, that's okay. The fact is that you did something you've never done, that you was too scared to do. And that's gonna make a big change in your confidence. Another thing, and probably the most important, most people who suffer with low confidence, they usually use themselves as the joke of the story. Don't make yourself the joke no more. That's cut back on, oh, I'm so fat, I, you know, with the fat, you know, I'm just using fatness as an example, but let's say you, you, you say, oh, I don't want to go there. I won't even fit through the door. And everybody laugh. Like, okay, funny joke, but let's not do it. You know what I mean? So w back in my childhood, I was the really skinny guy, and I was bad at sports and everything like that. So the butter, I, I used to use myself as the butter all jokes. Like, oh, man, it's windy out here. I'm going to just blow away. But at the same time, it really bothered me inside. And, you know, making a joke, I didn't feel that. Just say, like, hey, everybody laughing, you know, it's cool, whatever. But what I was really doing was, was digging that deeper into my subconscious. So what we want to do is we want to flip that. So don't make yourself the butt of the jokes. Start talking more positive. Flip it, flip it in a way where you're, you're, you're talking about yourself to where you're, you're sinking more positive thoughts in your subconscious. So sometimes we talk or think bad about ourselves for so long that we don't even realize how, how deep we dug that in our brain. So when we try to be, be when we try to talk positive about ourselves, it don't come off confidently because we don't really believe it. So let's start training ourselves to have better posture. If you want to do something in your life, just go do it. Especially if you've never done it before. That's that's that'd be amazing. Get out your comfort zone. Let's do it. And let's start speaking more positive about ourselves. So whether you're overweight, lazy, whether you did everything wrong in your life, whatever, to this point, let's start changing it. Let's start changing it. Let's start speaking way more positive. And I really thank you guys. I hope you take these little exercises and adapt it in your life daily, and you will see a difference in your whole attitude. Thank you guys. Tune in next time.